What's happening, y'all? This is Andrew from Mirror Music. I'm here today to do a reaction video to Liam Gallagher's song, Everything's Electric, which came out about a year ago now, but um, I have not heard it, so um, I thought I'd you know, get into that a little bit to do out today. Um, I'm a big fan of Liam Gallagher's BDI stuff and um, the High Flying Birds, Noel Gallagher stuff, too, so... Um, I've talked about on this channel putting together uh, like the best of those two first two albums, and because that would be a hell of an Oasis album, man. Anyway, um, so anyway, without further ado, this is everything's electric. Actually, I forgot to say before this started, um, I read when I was just looking up stuff about new Liam Gallagher songs that this song was co-written by Dave Grohl of the, most recently of the Foo Fighters, but also of Nirvana. So um, we'll see if that plays into this at all. Alright, so this, I mean, the opening sounds much more like Oasis than Foo Fighters, and it's hard to not hear Liam Gallagher's Mancunian, I think you said, that's how you say Manchester, Mancunian voice, um, and not, like, hear Oasis. Um, it's hard, really, in my brain to separate those two. Um, it's much easier for me to separate Noel Gallagher's voice and... Um, his guitar playing from like solo and Oasis, but um, that voice, I mean, it's like hearing Mick Jagger's solo albums and stuff like that. It's hard to disassociate that voice, that very like specific voice from, from that music. Um, but I dig it so far. I mean, it's not, it's, it's kind of halfway between Oasis or a little closer to Oasis, um, but it's got kind of a modern pop rock kind of sound too. Um, I mean, obviously earlier Oasis was more beatly, and this is less beatly and more modern. <laughs> I love artists who know what they're good at and just lean into what they're good at. Um, and that is not to say that Liam Gallagher and lots of other artists haven't earned the right to do whatever the fuck they want to do, musically speaking. But, man, like, this hits and hits clean. And every, every time I hear him or his brother, I'm like, like, it's not for me to interfere in their you know personal relationship, and that's their business. But, man... Everybody just wants to see Oasis play together. And, and, this, and this song reminds me of like late era Oasis and makes me want it back even more.
Like, like this literally could be the lead single for an Oasis album. It's both really cool and really frustrating. <laughs> So, like, lots of Oasis songs have that kind of outro to them. Um, Wonderwall has kind of like that. Um, Do you know what I mean does. Um, there are a bunch of them that have that kind of, for lack of a better term, Hey Jude outro, right? Like the the the, the thing that you can kind of sing along as, as, as the outro to it. Um, I don't have a lot of clever things to say about this. This is, like, straight ahead pop rock oasis right in that that wheelhouse Uh, much more like obviously like the later stuff than than the earlier stuff you know also one of the things that oasis was always accused of in the 90s was being beatles derivative um it's hard to also hear the song and not think of um she's electric from that's from morning glory i think what's the story morning glory the same album as wonderwall and and don't look back in anger etc um, it's, it's, the song doesn't sound alike, but the lyrical content's kind of, kind of similar too. Um, obviously in later Oasis times, they were much like the Beatles were writing like their own songs and bringing them together. Um, and it, so it kind of feel has that feeling to it, but man, it's, it's so frustrating that they, that they can't play together anymore or won't play together anymore um but i love it i love the song um it definitely makes me sad that i missed this record when it came out and i'm gonna go listen to the rest of the album now and um so um as if you've gotten this far obviously you're an oasis fan or a liam fan or a noel fan and you can definitely you should if you have not already gotten into this you should go do that so See you next time. Take care, y'all.